Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Darkest Dungeon. Take some of our mediums in here, our level 3s as they are. And, uh, oh boy, can we actually take all these guys? I think I figured out that I could put uh, Sorbet in the third row, kind of. Uh, for the most part. She can do a fair amount of things. You probably hear uh, Raksha in the background. Uh, he has decided that it is now dinner time, just as I'm starting my recording. Well, sorry to say, my feline friend, you're going to have to wait a little bit. Alright, I guess we won't take Sorbet. We'll actually take Mustaine instead, because I believe he can do everything in the third row. And uh, we'll actually switch out Uppercut for... Uh, come Hither, perhaps? Or maybe uh, Hook and Slice? There we go. Okay. So, uh, not not a five mission. Definitely don't want to do that. Uh, the healing armlet is actually kind of an interesting choice. In fact, speaking of uh, things of that nature, I think I believe I have a focus ring here. Oh, there was a patch. Um, because the, these are very different. They're not showing as ancestral anymore. They're showing as very rare. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, there was definitely a patch. Um, I usually check for that before I start recording, too, but... Alright, so we'll do that. Uh, I'm gonna take a... In fact, we'll do this in the moment. Um, let's see if I can figure out... No, because Steam is down right now, they're doing maintenance. Alright! So, uh, we're just gonna go in here. Let me see what we get for items. Uh, we could go for the moon ring. We've got a lot of those. So I don't really think that'll be a good choice. Uh, we'll probably just go for this healing armlet, actually. Kind of an interesting choice. It's a short mission, so we probably won't need a lot of stuff. I take two stacks of food. Um, in fact, we'll go... We'll go darkness, too. And, uh... Couple of everything else. Alright, let's go. Uh, I didn't check to see if anybody had sun items. In fact, I think Mathis might have two sun cloaks on. Hmm. Uh, his dodge and protection are already pretty low, so I don't think he'll have much trouble. They breed quickly down there. Yeah. In the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Um, his dodge is going to take a huge hit, in fact, when it gets to be nighttime here. But uh, that's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, it's, oh my goodness. Look how short this mission is. This is going to be a, uh, Mechanical a very, very short run here. By evil intent. Oh, why are these? Oh, this is this is much different. Yeah, there was definitely a patch. Um, boy, I would I would love to... Man, our torch seems to be going down really fast, too. I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna be dealing with this, let's just snuff out the torch. Secrets yeah, so his dodge is gonna take a huge hit here. Corners of this place. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, those, uh, those icons kinda weirded me out there a bit. All right, we get some traps coming in. That's fine. Uh, that's actually a big stress hit on those. All right, we got a holy water. We can do this. Take those. Boy, that's really weirding me out. Nothing, huh? I mean, there's got to be combat here. The the mission objective is complete 100% of room battles. Maybe the shortest, darkest dungeon episode I've ever done. Which actually it wouldn't be terrible timing, giving them oh, that was not what I meant to do. Giving that my fine feline companion appears to be very impatient about his incoming meal. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the early. Uh, oh levels. god, what is that? What the hell is that? Grotesque Shambler. If you're not actually watching, you're listening, I would look at this. Uh, 116 health. It surprised us. I have... N wow. Okay. Um, 
I think we do a stand here. Um. Try to give it a vulnerability hex. All right, good. We credit for seven, and it's marked, but it resists the debuff. It's actually got really high resistances too. But it's marked, which is nice. So. Oh, it makes a weird sound. God, that is a obdurate advancement. It every. Excuse me. Clapper claw. All right, it just spawned. Two of these Shambler Spores. Oh my goodness, it just... The tide turns. Well, okay. <laughs> Give me a second to catch up here, game. Holy cow. Okay, so when those things attacked, they got a 50% damage, 25% protection, 3 speed, 20 accuracy, and 3% crit buff. Yikes. Uh... Alright, everybody's bleeding for 3. Uh, let's bandage you. And uh, let's try to intimidate these two. It, just to at least in case they get a chance to attack. Because if they attack, that's going to be extremely bad. Yeah, we got to take these out first before anything else. Those have got to go. Unfortunately, I don't think Shark's going to be able to do anything back there. Um, yeah, I can't. Got to kill. I can't do Sacrificial Stab from this point zero damage it debuffed it oh my god it's gonna do it again obdurous advancement all right and it's oh, we're bleeding even more now and spawn another one of these things this is insane all right that killed it so we got only one of these other ones left um clapper claw all right that's gonna be that buffing thing the problem is that not only are we bleeding like mad? But I'm not getting an opportunity to actually take out the stuff this thing is spawning. All right, that's good. That that killed it. Now that Shark is back up where he should be for the most part, Stenorius Lament. Gonna be a oh my god! It just shuffled my whole party and gave everybody a big stress attack. This is nuts. This this has to be the rare creature that people were talking about um, and on some level warning me about. All right, we just created for 40. Bond, you may have just saved everyone. Okay, uh, Montague's gotta go up. This is, this shuffle was really bad. Um, he can go up again. Mustang, can you attack from back there? We can try to stun it. Uh, it's only got like a 50% chance to actually hit, well but struck. I think it's worth it. We did, but you stunned it. Okay, that, that's big. That'll buy us a lot of time, potentially. Um... Bond's gonna move, he can't do anything here. Mathis, unfortunately, I can't afford to have him do anything right now. He's gotta move back. Hopefully he doesn't do this this lament again. Um, but we'll try to stun it again. Very low chance. It did hit, that's huge. Alright, it's got 50 health left. We're like bleeding out real bad here too. Mathis it got plus 10 health, that's good. Um all right, Bond, buddy. Try to hit this thing. All right, you hit it. That's good. You hit it for 12. 38 health. Let's attack. 14. 24 health. Um, the thing, the chances of stunning it again at this point is almost none, but I can't... I should see that or I just skip my turn, basically. So I might as well um, just try to do it. Like a 10% chance? Yeah. Alright, uh, do we try to debuff or do we just try, let's go for the hit, oh man that was bad, I missed, okay, um, I kind of want Mathis to attack, but we'll actually heal, because when we get more of those bleeds, that's going to be rough, okay, Montague hit, it's got 9 health, alright, it's going to obdurous advancement, everybody's bleeding, these Shambler spores are out, alright, they're going to do the clapper claw thing, they're gonna start buffing themselves, so they gotta die. Can't afford to have these things attack with that buff. Nice, double crit from Bond, that's really good. Uh, we debuff them a little bit. They're really weak. Looking slice. This could be, actually, this is a huge bleed. Um, not a great chance, though. I think we try it. 
free damage. He did get the bleed. Okay, so the Shambler is gonna die. All we have to do is clear out these spores. Got it? All right, um, why don't you heal yourself? The three. Didn't cause a bleed. Obdurs, oh man, I got two more of these spores out. And it's double stacked our bleeds. Do we have any bandages left? No. Alright, Clapper Claws. Yeah, so we just we just gotta kill these things now. Alright, that's good. We got rid of one. Uh, the big the Shambler is actually gonna die here. As soon as it's his turn. So let's just kill this other spore, hopefully. Alright, it's got two health left. Um I I think Mathis heals here. Yeah, 60. I'm glad I did that. That was a big heal there. And then, um... We're just gonna try to stun it since I can't really do anything else in the position we're in. And it's dead. A victory. Ooh. Alright, stun wears off, so we just gotta kill this thing now. Let's have Bongo for the Intimidate. I got the job done. What did Remind we get? The Ancestor's map, and plus 50% scouting chance, minus 5 stress resist, minus 3 virtue chance. And this is an actual ancestral item. Wow. Okay. So, whatever that is, killing it must give you these ancestral items. Um, I'll actually put the, the map on Mathis. We gotta get everybody back in order here. Um, this is probably pretty good, and you guys all gotta eat as much as you can. Uh, these bleeds are really nasty. In fact, um, it's it's almost worth having Montague pick up Battle Heal uh, for the next combat, just to try to catch up here. But oh, without. Now the real question is, am I going to find that thing again at some point? Or is it now that it's dead, it's dead forever? Um, and I don't, we won't really know. Okay, you're full. You can eat some. You're full. You're full. Okay, let's go. Wow, so here I was thinking, man, this is going to be like a a 10 minute Darkest Dungeon episode. And just, just kidding. Surprise. Right, so there's that map coming into play. Okay, so now there's these new icons for hunger. Eat food, regain 5% health. Eat nothing, take 20% damage plus stress damage. That's interesting that it's icons instead of uh, just the words now. Brady's empty. I think the buttons are in the same place though. Surprisingly, didn't get scouting that time. Let's head down here. We gotta clear out everything, so. Uh, we can use holy water. Boy, I really don't want to find another one of those right now. Um, I do in the future. It's a pretty cool boss fight. Or what I mean, basically a boss. But uh, right now, it would be bad. Oh man, Mustaine is uh, kinda stressing. Alright, here we go. Here's room combat. I kinda hope this is the only combat in the switch. Oh man, we got surprised. That's so bad. Alright, starting to move up Bond here. Blanket Fire actually just did a lot of damage. And we gotta start just doing uh, triage here. Everybody needs healing. Real bad. Uh, we're gonna stun the Bloodletter if we can. Good, that actually hit. And let's see if we can get the Fusilier up here. Good, we did, and he's stunned. That's even better. Yeah, and the, oh, the Cutthroat actually can't do anything from the back row now, so. Continue bandaging up. Eh, four. And we get a bleed on him, too. That's a bummer. Um, I think we just do... Yeah, he's, got, he's stunned, so he'll take big damage. Nice. That was a good follow-up attack there. Surprised uh, Mustang get to go again, in fact. We gotta move Bond up. This is actually a really rough party. This is not one of my finer party choices. 
just uh, too risky when they get mixed up like that. All right, bleeds on literally everyone. Um, some of these are huge too. That is not good. Can I change these right now? No. Um, I thought that Bond or uh, the Leper had an anti-bleed thing, but I guess not. Uh, I think we go for the Intimidate just for the lower damage. Kind of save us some trouble here. Uh, hook and Slice is a very big bleed. Let's try to hit with that. Actually, he throws out like a, a sickle there instead of that other hook now. It's kind of interesting. Alright, let's heal... The stain for 12. Hopefully no bleed. Good. Yes, yeah, so, holy cow! 28 crit on Montague. He's at death's door. Oh, boy. Alright, we gotta try to... To stun this guy, we didn't get it. All right, he's gonna go punishment on Mustaine, leading again. Um, I think we hook and slice this guy again. Yeah, he's got a ten bleed now, so he's dead in two turns. Oh man, don't kill Montague. All right, Death's Door, you're okay, pal. Uh, you're bleeding really heavily though. Come on, Matha, save his life. 10 heal will save his life for now, especially because he resisted the bleed, so that's, that's good enough. Oh boy, I went now. I think we keep uh, trying to intimidate the big guy. Yeah, stack up that damage. Please miss. Wow, you actually hit with that accuracy debuff. And... Oh my goodness. Uh, Maybe we just stun it? Or we try to? Good, he's stunned. Uh, this cutthroat is gonna die, so that's fine. So we can just take out him, finish him, do the job. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. And uh, the problem here is we need to get healing on Montague, or he could bleed out while walking. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. All right, let's take all that. Oh, that's the end of the mission. Thank God. <laughs> I'm not even going to move we'll from this room. The only thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to eat food with Montague just in case some like. weird thing happens where like he ticks, gets a tick of the bleed as we're leaving or something. Oh good, there's some stuff in the next hallway. Yeah, not a chance. Some experiments should have never happened. That was You're rough. So, I like how the narrator too, them. if you didn't hear it, some experiments should have never happened. Yeah, like this need to go in this mission apparently. Also, I, I apologize for my kitty cat rocks on the background meowing for half of this video. He's apparently very, very impatient about his dinner that he's not supposed to be getting for another 20 minutes, but that's okay. Alright, Bond gets hatred of Eldritch. Yeah, I would imagine so after that battle. Sting gets evasive. Mathis gets a bad gamble or no big deal in Photomania. Alrighty. Once and uh, our, was the envy of this our kind of new low level A team had some treatment done. Mathis is now uh, level 4. So he will get the Mentor's Skull and Dark Inquisition. And uh, max values on all of his abilities. Now I think I'm actually going to take the Ancestor's Map off of him for now. And give him, uh, I want to give him the, the cleansing crystal, because I want to see if maybe that lowers the chance for him to, uh, actually cause bleeds as well. And we'll hold on to that Ancestor's Map, that could be very important. Anyway, so I'll do a little cleanup here, and then I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did click like, helps out a lot, and subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.